what's up, MTV Cribs? Made it out to Scottsdale. Well, this is my place down here in Scottsdale, and uh, I'll show you around. If you look around a little bit, you see there's ample storage for kayaks and uh, detergent. Even got myself a nice uh, extension cord. Now, any RV that's well equipped will come with a nice propane tank. Not only do I got one of these babies, I got one in the back too. Now the uh, Cyclone 3010 model is very famous for its 88 degree turning radius. All right? Now, 88 degrees, you can turn into some pretty tight stuff with that. Now sometimes I get dirty, and because of that, I've got soap on the outside. Now this is just one of the slides of the Cyclone 3010. Okay. This would be the slide for my living room, and that would be the slide for my bedroom, or master bedroom. Now sometimes, People think this is normal glass. It's actually crystal. Exactly, crystal. So clear, birds try to fly through this thing. Let's take a look inside. All right, guys, so this is the living room. It's my home away from home. So, you know, sometimes I'd like to kick back on the couch. Watch my favorite TV show, the Solid Box Channel, of course. So seriously, let's talk about the entertainment options in this wonderful vehicle of ours. So the first thing you notice is this awesome flat panel display. Now, we don't watch a lot of TV on this uh, RV, but when we do, we'll make sure it's good stuff. So we brought along the Mini Mac to uh, help us stream up videos. Got extra hard drive here, just in case. I'm gonna, you know, look at some. Uh, some movies we downloaded off iTunes. And probably the, the most prestigious car stereo you can get, the Jensen. I think you can get this uh, pretty much in any Walmart. But this is the baby that powers our speakers outside and the garage. Let's take a look at the kitchen. So when I'm out eating at the Biltmore here in Scottsdale, I like to make my own food. So you can see these wonderful countertops make it easy to cook anything you can imagine. You need, a, you need a sink? I got a sink. Right here. Right here. Detachable. Faucet head. Top of the line stove. Gas, gas. It's not electric, it's gas. Water, you know, you never know when you need to hydrate. Now, this is a convection oven, of course, but this is what I like the best about the Cyclone 3010. This is a microwave, right? Looks like a microwave? Uh uh. Convection oven. That's right, you can throw a turkey in here. Of course, I always need paper towels, so I bought a little extra of those. Now, the refrigerator, let's talk about the refrigerator. Not only did you notice this beautiful glossy exterior here, this old school refrigerator. Got my tea. Only the best for me, baby. Only the best. And of course, we got our, our, our bourbon. When I drink bourbon, I usually, I usually like to make toast and jam too. But anyway, seriously, we've got a freezer up in here, my berries, I have my berries, you need antioxidants, you know. Let's go take a look at the garage, that's where all the fun happens. Alright guys, so this is my man cave away from home, 10 foot garage, what they call it, a toy hauler. Now, by the way, you're gonna notice my two babies right here. You know, Kanye, Kanye has his uh, jet skis and his, uh, his helicopters. I got my bikes, my enduro. Mm, that's six inches of travel. Mm. My single speed salsa, probably the most beautiful bike ever made. Like those accents. Now, of course, uh, there's a softer side of me a lot of people don't know about. That's the piano side.
And uh, really, whenever I go anywhere, guys, I really like to have a little piece of home. To make this feel more like a home, I had my mom make me some quilts. My mom is a world-class quilter, and you can see this was actually made in 1996. It's been around a while. Quality. Can't beat it. So when I'm tired, and that's not very often, I gotta sleep. Let's take a look at the master bedroom. That's how roomy it is in here. And that's because of that slide back there. You fit a full queen size bed in here. Look at those mirrors. Probably a talent. Now of course, I do fit some time in to do some work. The cyclone provides a wonderful desk for working. See that? That's, that's a solid box right there, by the way. See that solid box? Now, sometimes what we'll do here in the, in the RV is actually record videos for our, our website. Right? It's a very mobile lifestyle. Guys. To make this a true mobile workstation here, state-of-the-art communications, baby. Clear modem, 3G, wireless. This is the most wired RV out there. Let's take a look at the bathroom. Well, you know, not a very far walk from the bedroom to the bathroom here. Right away, my favorite feature, the cyclone probably, is, is this full-size shower. Now, every RV should probably have one of these bad boys right here. This is a voltmeter. You, know, you never know when you're going to be in a park that doesn't have the greatest voltage. So right now, we're in Phoenix, 115 volts. A little on the weak side. Yeah, regular toilet, all my products. A lot of people ask me how do I get my hair the way I get my hair. Right here, axe. A lot of people ask me, they're like, where's, where's the handle? Where's the handle? There's no handle. No, 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 right here, right here, baby. Oh, foot control. Now, none of my amputee friends really like this, but hey, you can use your hand. Now, I know you guys have been waiting for this all day. Let's take a look outside at the whips. All right, let's go see how this uh, cyclone gets pulled around. Now to pull this beast around, you need a diesel. So the uh, GMC Sierra was the obvious choice. Now you can see uh, we got some touches that are very crisp. Three bike racks, two kayak racks. Of course you needed the nice wheels. You know, Kanye and I, we have the same wheels. And actually uh, we turned into kind of a, to a verbal disagreement one time. And of course, uh, when you're pulling that wide load, it helps you be able to see everything. So telescopic mirrors. I think I'm the only guy who has these actually. Nice uh, leather interior. See, this is the first uh, sunscreen I've ever had to buy for a vehicle, being down here in Scottsdale. So, uh, hey, MTV, I really, really appreciate you guys taking the time to come out here and pick out the cyclone, but uh, it's time to go, actually, so uh, you should probably go. You should probably go right now. All right? No, I'm serious. You need to really get, get out of here now. <laughs> hey, man, um, don't let me call the cops on you. You need to go.